Code reuse is a central tenet of software development. Machine learning should be no different. Stay tuned to find out how to use TensorFlow Hub to easily load up and customize state-of-the-art models in your TensorFlow code. Welcome to AI Adventures, where we explore the art, science, and tools of machine learning. My name is Yufang Guo, and on this episode, we're going to check out TensorFlow Hub. Developing state-of-the-art machine learning models is no easy feat. Large state-of-the-art models require lots of carefully curated, balanced data to train, and they take a long time to train as well. Now, TensorFlow Hub is a library for the publication, discovery, and consumption of reusable parts of machine learning models. The primary use case for the models in TF Hub is for transfer learning. Transfer learning is a technique to base your machine learning models on other large models, pre-trained on even larger data sets. This enables you to train your particular customized model on a smaller data set, improve generalization, and speed up the training process since you're not starting from scratch. Because TF Hub is integrated with TensorFlow, you end up pulling in sections of a TensorFlow graph and so the library makes it super easy to load up these models to be fine-tuned. The resources in TF Hub are known as modules. A module is imported into a TensorFlow program by creating a module object from a string with its either URL or file system path, as shown. Now, there are already many models available on TF Hub with more on the way. The two broad categories of model types available today are images and text. The image models are trained extensively to classify objects and images. And by reusing their feature detection capabilities, you can create models that recognize your own custom classes using much less training data and time than it took to make those more advanced models. Some of the image models available today include Inception v1, v2, and v3, MobileNet in all sorts of configurations, NASNet and PNASNet, as well as ResNet. Most of these models were at one point state-of-the-art image classification models, and they serve as great starting points for many image-based machine learning applications. Now the text-based models, they're no slouch either. Currently, there's the Universal Sentence Encoder, ELMO, which is a model trained on the 1 billion word benchmark, NNLM, which is a neural network language model trained on the Google News dataset. So yeah, there's some pretty cool models on TensorFlow Hub. Okay, two final apps specs that I want to cover uh, about TensorFlow Hub are the guides to using the modules, which very important, and how you can publish your own modules to the Hub. First, the TF Hub website has a number of great guides that show you how to load up and fine tune models for your use case. For example, this guide here shows how to do text classification of movie reviews with the NNLM model. You can take this and easily swap out the data set, the model, or both to your liking. So TF Hub, it can't be a hub without your contribution. As you develop new and interesting models with your own data, consider creating a TF Hub module that others can then reuse. You might find collaborators who can improve upon your models even further or discover use cases that you hadn't thought of. TF Hub is not just a place to find machine learning models. It's an entire framework for publishing and consuming models, all with an easy to use and consistent interface. This, I believe, is critical, as I think it'll enable us to think in a higher level of abstraction. This leads to more innovative ways of remixing and reusing existing models, expanding the possibilities of what is possible with machine learning. Thanks for watching this episode of Cloud AI Adventures. And if you enjoyed it, please like it and subscribe to get all the latest episodes right when they come out. For now, check out TensorFlow Hub and see how you can build on top of some of the most advanced models around.